Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is George Herrera with the Queen's Home Team at Keller Williams Realty. In today's video, I'm answering the question, who pays transfer tax in New York and in NYC? So who pays the transfer tax? You might have heard this term if you're in the market to buy or sell, and you may be wondering who is it that actually pays it. So generally speaking, this is usually a seller's closing cost. So usually the seller will pay the transfer tax um, and the only exception to that is whenever it's new construction or if it's a sponsor owned unit of a building. So generally if it's new construction condos or a sponsor owned unit, um, those type of sales usually the sellers will expect for the buyer to pay the seller's transfer taxes. Um, now, but generally speaking, nine out of 10 uh, properties uh, or that you see on the market or when someone sells, that is a seller's closing cost, is the transfer tax. Now there's two transfer taxes in New York City. So you have the New York State transfer tax, which is 0.4% of the sale price. And then you have the New York City transfer tax, which is, depending on the sale price, it's 1% of the sale price for property sales up to 500,000. And for any property sales over 500,000, then the New York City transfer tax is 1.425% of the sale price. Okay, so hopefully I didn't confuse you there. But again, New York State transfer tax is 0.4% of the sale price. And then that's all the way up to like 3 million. So once you go over 3 million, then the New York State transfer tax also jumps up to 0.65%, I believe. Uh, but for most sales, it's gonna be 0.4% of the sale price. And then if you live in New York City or if you're selling a property in New York City, then there's gonna be an additional transfer tax, which is your New York City transfer tax. If the sale price is below 500,000, then that will be 1% of the sale price. So total 1.4, right? New York State, New York City. And then if the sale price is over 500,000, your New York City transfer tax will be 1.425% of the sale price. Um, so you add that with the New York State 0.4, so you're at 1.825% uh, of the sale price in transfer taxes in total. All right, so hopefully that answers the question. Uh, typically, this is a seller's closing cost and it will be part of their, their closing costs at the closing table. But on occasion, with a new construction development, um, with a sponsor-owned unit, it is not uncommon for the buyer to pay the transfer taxes pretty much only in those scenarios. All right, hopefully that answers the question. If you have any questions related to transfer taxes, if, you if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get a breakdown of all of the closing costs that you can expect, uh, feel free to drop us a line in the comments below and we'd love to email you our spreadsheet that we created which outlines all your closing costs and gives you an idea and it also includes the transfer taxes. All right, thanks as always for tuning in guys. If you have any questions that you'd like us to answer on the channel, please drop them in the comments below and we'll be shoot, sure to shoot a video for you in the near future. All right, take care, have a great day.